Hello learners, after understanding information technology, let's move on towards understanding the basic processing of an IT system model and its resources. An IT system model is a model in which a computer and its components are used to retrieve, store, or transmit the information to a complete task. An IT system model is divided into three parts, input, processing, and output. The information or data given to a system by the user is termed as input. Processing of the input is done in the CPU, or the central processing unit, which is the brain of the computer. The information or data given out by the system is termed as output. These three activities in an information system produce the information that organizations look for when making decisions, controlling operations, analyzing problems, and creating new products or services. Let's try to understand the basic activities of input, processing, and output in detail. Input. In this step, the input data is prepared for processing in some form. The form will depend on the processing machine. For example, when an electronic computer is used the input data could be recorded on any one of several types of input medium, such as magnetic disks, tapes, and so on. Processing. In this step, data is changed to produce data in a more useful form. For example, paychecks may be calculated from the time cards or a summary of monthly sales may be calculated from the sales orders. Output. Here the result of the processing is collected. The form of the output data depends on the requirements of the data. For example, output data may be in the form of paychecks for employees. Output transfers the processed information to the people who will use it or the activities for which it will be used. Information systems also require feedback, which is output that is returned to appropriate members of the organization to help them evaluate or correct the input stage. Let's look at how information systems enhance business processes. They do this in two ways. One, by increasing the efficiency of existing processes. Two, by enabling new processes that can transform the business. The definition of an information system is, an information system is an organized system for the collection, organization, storage, and communication of information. More specifically, it's the study of complementary networks that people and organizations use to collect, filter, process, create, and distribute data. For example, management information systems that are used to produce regular reports on operations for every level of management in a company. Now, what are the resources which are used in information systems? Number one, people resources. These include one, end users such as accountants, salespeople, customers, and clerks. Two, they also include information system specialists, such as programmers, system analysts, and computer operators. The second type of resource 
used in information systems are hardware resources. These include A, computer systems, and B, peripheral devices. The third type of resource used in information systems are software resources. And these include A, system software, such as operating systems, B, application software, such as a sales analysis program, and C, utility software, such as typing and spreadsheet software. The fourth type of resource for information systems is data resource, which includes databases such as Oracle or Access. The fifth type of resource is network resource, which includes A, communication media such as twisted pair and fiber optic cables. B, network support such as modems and switches. Why we need to have an information system in an organization is an important question. And the answer is, let's look at why we need to have information systems in an organization. We can store big data, retrieve huge amounts of information at a much faster rate, we can easily share data. We can concurrently perform transactions on data. We can keep data centralized or distributed after several locations. And we can design more effective and summarized reports. Information systems have certain disadvantages. And some of them include Number one, they require a huge investment for setup at the time of implementation of the information system. Number two, proper backup systems are needed. Number three, trained system analysis programmers and helping staff are required. Thank you.